whiteboard behind me. You see nice. This year. <laughs> we're live. Cool. We're live. Cool. Hey, McKenna, how goes it? Awesome. How are you, Kyle? Good. We're in our last couple days of 2020. Uh, very close. Very close to the finish line. Yeah, our last Tuesday tactic of 2020. Yeah, gonna Which finish strong. It's a lot of pressure on the last, <laughs> the last, uh, the last big episode of Tuesday. Talk. <laughs> um, well, cool, McKenna. So today we are talking about a service that we use at Pintler Group called Headliner. Um, it's a service that McKenna has mastered, and it has um, it kind of surfaced when we started to do a lot more podcasting for ourselves and for our clients. And McKenna, mm -hmm. this might have even been before you started with us, but we had these podcast assets. So the audio files, they lived on Spotify, they lived on you know Apple Podcasts, Google Play, everywhere your podcasts, uh, everywhere you download your podcasts. But we wanted ways to easily share them on social media that weren't like, hey, listen to this 40 minute podcast yeah. uh, <laughs> as you scroll through your Instagram feed. And I started to see some people doing some neat things where they took snippets of a podcast and put them on social media. And so I started to look at services and this one really stuck out to me yeah. um, specifically because it also works with the service we use called Fireside that uh, that integrates seamlessly with um, all the different podcast platforms so that we can record, edit, and then publish everywhere. And so McKenna, maybe we wanted to show what that looks like yes. uh, to start, what a, what a headliner looks like to the world. Yeah, so I've skipped a few steps and we're gonna backtrack a little bit and show, but um, just for the sake of time, I've created this little one right here. I'll just play it for a minute, but it's just a little video graphic. Yeah, I don't think we can hear it. I think only you can hear it. Oh, okay. Well, it I <laughs> just as a heads up, it is actually um, playing the podcast audio um, as the wavelengths go. So what it is, is it's just a graphic. You can upload any photo or it can just be your thumbnail for your podcast um, and it plays the audio with the wavelength. So it's a little bit more visual to watch. Um, and it's just, it's kind of a, just a little quick engaging way to um, feature your podcast on your social channels. Yeah. It captures your attention because of the, because there are the, the wavelengths moving mm -hmm. and also you can put captions as yes. well, which I'm sure people have seen. And if it's uh, you know, if you're targeting this, so one of the things that we do, is we might take a headliner, what McKenna just showed, and then we might find a part of our episode from Cutting Through the Noise that deals specifically with uh, higher education. And we mm -hmm. might target people that work in higher education with that section of podcast where we talk about, you know, here's 10 admissions websites that are doing things really well. Or if it's a tourism industry, you know, we might say, if there's two two softwares that you use today in the tourism industry, like these are the two marketing softwares that you should be using. We might start with that and then target those different industries. So it captures their attention even more, you know, rather than like email marketing in 2020, that mm -hmm. sort of is broad <laughs> and to, it, it might not capture the attention of everyone quickly. Yeah. The same way that uh, using, using that section that you select, because you can select the section of the podcast that you want, correct? Whether it's 10 seconds or 10 minutes. Yep. So we recommend doing um, smaller clips. Like I usually try to keep it at about a minute for our social channels. You can do the full episode, but maybe that's good for your YouTube channel as it suggests here, but it's just too long generally for um, your social media platforms. So all you have to do is kind of plug in your RSS feed here, um, which is super easy to find. Ours is right on our site. Um, mm -hmm pop it in, pick the episode that you want. See, ours comes right up. And once you select your episode, this is what populates. Um, so it's kind of allows you to move around to which part of the podcast you want to include, which audio bite you like. Um, you can also make it longer or shorter here. As Kyle mentioned, you know, picking something really engaging right off the bat. Um, Cause it is just kind of like a little sneak peek of your podcast just to try to like get yeah. people interested and maybe that this little sneak peek is going to make them listen to the full episode. So um, kind of searching around for a good little sound bite here. Yeah. Something as you, if you're one of the people in the podcast, whether a guest or kind of the host mm -hmm. and somebody answers a really great question, just keep it in your mind. Like, Ooh, that would make a really good headliner that yeah. that's something you can do. Yeah, also. definitely keep note of it ahead of time. We'll save you some time on the back end, listening to the, listening through it again, trying to find right. the perfect already there <laughs> listening to it. You don't need to listen to it again. Yeah. And so one other thing that I really like about it is you can pick 
um, different waveforms. So just whatever, you can kind of mess around and test out which ones you like best. Um, there's just some like fun, different blurby ones. Yeah. Um, to Seems test like out. you can get so. on brand, you know, <laughs> yeah. polka dot might not be on the Pitman Group. Polka dot, yeah. We don't use the polka dot so often. <laughs> I kind of like the, yeah, the one that you selected is, you know, it's clean, think, it's clear. It's on point with what Pitman Group's uh, yeah. trying to do. Yeah, we use this one. Most. But maybe that bottom right one, the fire, that one's this one. Yeah, that one. For the right and client, you can move it around cool. too. Like we could pop it to the bottom so it looks like we're just that actually looks flaming. pretty cool. Maybe our next one, folks, follow okay. Hitler Group social media and you'll see uh, the fire on the next headline. Yeah. Okay, check it out. Keep your eyes open. I wonder if you can change, can you change the colors of those? Um yes, you can. Oh you I can I don't know so, about yeah, this you could one. Do, you could do like branded colors. That's I think cool. only for, I think this one is um, oh, okay. its own colors, but I think for the rest of them, we could change. Cool. So. And this is in, Headliner is free, correct? Up to, there's a certain limit yes. that you can get to? Yeah, so you can do 10 minutes a month. So 10 minutes worth of videos a month. So we're doing about one minute videos. So we get 10 free a month, which is plenty for our social. Um, mm -hmm. And we, yeah, it's been, it's super user friendly. As you can see, um, it's been really great experience um, on our side, so. Can't yeah. recommend it enough. Yeah, it seems like it's it's pretty quick. You know, you can go in, you 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 take the time and effort to record a really well thought out podcast. One of the mantras internally that McKenna certainly heard, but and maybe you've heard if you follow our social is, um, don't celebrate publishing. Mm -hmm. And what we mean by that is, you know, if you work hard, you produce that podcast. You don't want to then high five and say, oh great, you know, we did it. We published a podcast. Let's move on. You want to make sure that you're repurposing that content. So taking that podcast and creating a headliner is one really quick way to get that onto social media. Of yeah. course, you can link to the full episode and say, download it here. But um, we can also take a headliner and put it on our website. We can take a headliner and quickly schedule it in Sprout Social, which we use to uh, schedule social media content. Mm -hmm. So we can now, all of a sudden, we have this one file, which is on you know McKenna's desktop. She can drag it into Sprout Social and schedule it for LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Uh, which ones am I missing? Everywhere. Do you say Everywhere. YouTube? On YouTube? YouTube. Yep, Anywhere. You post, post <laughs> YouTube. Um, and you can even include it in like a blog post. So if you say, mm -hmm. you know, hey, in this blog article, we're talking about tourism and you find a clip from one of your podcasts that talks specifically about tourism, you just embed that because I'm guessing, McKenna, there's some embed links here also. Yep, definitely. Yeah, you can easily embed that into a WordPress blog or wherever you wherever you write. So that again, people don't have to say minute eight, you know, of this podcast, click through it and you'll see yeah. it. It's, uh, it's much cleaner and it looks great on a, on a website. So yeah, it's pretty um, engaging. Yeah, lots of different ways to take one piece of content and turn it into, you know, up to, I'd say 20 different ways to use this. Yeah, I think using your content in a smart way as much as possible is great. Getting the most out of your content. Cool. Yeah, and the same is true of video. I mean, you can see behind me we've got this uh, like this light box. We're we're going to be doing more video in the future. Um, making sure that video you're always repurposing. That it's you can mm -hmm. take clips from a ten minute video and do the same things we just talked about. Um, yeah, absolutely. McKenna, any other tips for folks who are looking to test out Headliner? Um, I think just kind of, it's easy. I think when you're listening back to your podcast to pick a section that you think is really interesting, that might be a little bit longer because you want to get, um, like a full conversation or maybe get to the full point of, um, what someone's talking about. But I think keeping it to about a minute is key. Um, especially if you are going to be sharing it on Instagram, that's the link that you can post in the feed without, um, moving to IGTV. So, then keeping it kind of short and sweet and just remembering that it's just a little snippet, um, like a little teaser so that people will um, hopefully yeah, it's kind of like find the it and download it and listen to the whole thing. So, Right. Go listen to the whole episode. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's a good call to action for our next headliner too. Yeah. <laughs> good deal. Exactly. Um, well, McKenna, it's been a great 2020. Um, see you next year. Is that something people say? <laughs> yeah. We'll see you um, on next Tuesday, Tastic in 2021. 2021. All right. <laughs> Thanks, McKenna. Awesome.